All right, seowriting.ai has some new language models available. So today we're going to do some testing. Specifically, I want to see how some of the articles score out for AI detection. So let's go ahead. I'm going to click one click blog post and I'm going to show you the new language models that are available. Let me click this drop down. So we have some new language models. Now they have a new default language model, which is a mix of models and expertise. That's something that's proprietary, so I don't know too much about it. They also have Claude 3.5 Haiku available. That's the latest fast model from Anthropic. They have Llama 3.370B. That's the latest powerful model from Meta. The one that I was specifically interested in is GPT-40. Now, that's the latest powerful model by OpenAI, and I wanted to create some articles with it and I really wanted to see what the AI detection scores were like. Typically, I write in Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but I have noticed that when I run these through Zero GPT, a lot of the articles end up being in the 60, 70, 80% AI detection range. So let's see what GPT 4.0 did for us. So I created eight different articles here, and the reason I did that is because one or two articles doesn't tell you very much. You want to try to have at least some statistical significance with the testing. Even eight isn't enough, but it will give us a good cross-section so we can compare some of these scores. So the first one is preparing for your first overnight hike. So I created this article. We're going to copy this article. Here it is. Let's take it over to Zero GPT. We're going to drop it in. We're going to get an AI detection score. We'll go ahead, start the detection, see what we get. So this one comes in at 44.68% AI. That's pretty good. Uh, I like that score. That's a lot better than 70 or 80 that I was getting with Claude. So I'm going to go over, back over here. We're going to go back over to Builder. We're going to grab this next article. How does the brain control our bodily functions? Now this one is a little more technical, so I was curious to see if a more technical or scientific article would have a harder time beating AI detection. So I'm not gonna really go through this deeply except to scroll through to give you an idea of what it looks like. Let's go ahead, let's copy it. Let's go back over, drop it in to zero GPT, and click detect text, and it's running the scoring. This one comes in at 43.07, which isn't bad either. I like that score. Let's go back, go into the builder, grab the next article. Why is understanding art history important? We'll just go ahead, open that up. Again, I'm not going to go deeply into the article, so let's just copy it, bring it back over, and see what kind of detection score we get. Copy that in. So this is great, 4.5%. It even detects that this text is human written, so I really like that. That's a great score. Let's go back over to SEO Writing, go back to Builder. Now selecting the right acoustic guitar, we'll open that up, copy it. Bring it back over to zero GPT, drop it in. This one comes out at 39.79%. So it says most likely AI GPT generated, but that's still a pretty good score compared to what I was getting with a lot of the Claude articles. We've got some more to go. Let's go back to Builder. How to choose the right state to retire in. I'm not gonna really scroll through this too much, but let's copy it. Let's go back over to AI Detector. We're gonna drop it in. This is great, comes in at 27.9% AI. So it's got mixed signals, I like this, that's a good score. So we're back in SEO writing, we're gonna get the next article. In this case, it's electric vehicles, pros and cons. We'll view the article, let's copy it. Let's go ahead, bring it over into the AI detector. And I just want to say every one of these articles, when I created it, I used the same settings. Everything is the same. The only difference is the article itself and you know what I asked the AI writer to write about. 
So this one didn't score out as well. This was maybe a little bit more technical article because it's electric vehicle, pros and cons. It came out at almost 60% detected as AI. So this could be the outlier in the group, we'll see. We're gonna go back over. We're going to get, go to the next article. This one is growing dahlias for beginners. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna copy it, drop it into zero GPT. This is a good score. It says most likely AI GPT generated, but it's in at roughly 32%, so 31.98%, so I really like that. So we're gonna go back in. We're gonna grab this last article and get a score. It's what is minimalism? And so we'll go ahead, we'll copy this article, bring it back over to zero GPT. And this one is 44.69% likelihood of being AI generated. So again, like I said, with Claude, I was finding scores sometimes in the 40s, but more often than not, 60, 70, sometimes 80%. And so let's go ahead and look at the scores again for these different articles. The first article was a 44.68% with GPT-40 written. The second was 43.07. The third was 4.5%. Probably an outlier, but that's great. 39.79, 27.9 for the next article, 67.92, 31.98, and 44.69. So, you know, on average, these are probably hovering at around 25 to 35% for AI detection scores. I like that. So if you are going to write articles with seowriting.ai and you are concerned about AI detection, you know, I would highly recommend that you choose this GPT-40 model. It so far has tested out the best for me if you're concerned with AI scores. This is no guarantee that low AI scores and, you know, complete editing is going to save you from a Google Core algorithm update. But, you know, this is a good start by having articles that aren't detected by AI as readily as others. And so for me, I plan on writing a lot of articles with GPT-4.0 just because I like those AI detection scores that I was seeing. And I just wanted to make you aware of the new language models that were available in SEO writing. You can always go in and see the updates that have been done on the tool. Here it's talking about the new models. There's also another article type selection that you can make. You can pick how-to guide, listicle, product review, news, comparison article here in the article type area. And you can also add more details to include in an article. So for example, if you have a business and you want to make sure and add your contact information within every article that you create, you can add this kind of information as well. So that's it for this particular video on seowriting.ai. I've got links here at the end of this video to a couple more that you might want to take a look at and check out. And of course, there's a link in the description to seowriting.ai. Uh, I've got a 25% discount that you can take advantage of as well. So until next time, take care.